in this uh, session i am going to talk about uh, understanding the different kinds of parameters or understanding the way we create the parameters and what is their significance with respect to tableau when do we create the parameters for what purposes but one thing they can really help us in incredible ways of performing the calculation the most dynamicness of a tableau visualization the most heavy interactiveness of a tableau visualization comes out purely with the usage of parameters just to define what a parameter is it's a placeholder right it's a placeholder for one single global value so this global value i can give it one as a number or i can give it as a date or as a string so this particular global value one i can show it as a control like i can uh, i can put a slider around it right i can uh, put it as a drop down or i can put it as uh, a list so such kind of thing can very well be put so that the end user dashboard there is some amount of dynamicness that comes to it right up the individual the user of the dashboard can actually change the value of this parameter and by changing this value the entire dashboard changes accordingly so every view every calculation which uses that parameter gets a dynamically updated and typically the use for the user he gets already altogether a new set of dashboard let's say i'm talking about three departments d1 d2 d3 now this department name i can keep it as a parameter so depending on what the department name is entered the dashboard corresponding to that particular department will be displayed to the user so look at how much the dynamic it is becoming right so it provides lots and lots of rich interactivity to the end users so there is a dynamic performance so i can very well alter the results that come out of the calculation or even i can change the size of the bins through a parameter or i can change okay top n elements that i want to be displayed that n could be changed by handling it as a parameter or if i want some kind of a reference line etc i can very well change it i can imagine different kinds of situations where different kinds of dynamicness need to be brought into my uh, brought into my dashboard all those things can be handled through a parameter and the greatest of the stuff is parameter can very well be used as a part of calculations and calculations are used as a part of visualization which means changing the value of a parameter will change the calculations and in turn will change the visualizations as well that is what is bringing the abnormal advantage to tableau right by creating the parameter lots and lots of dynamicness is getting pumped into into the visualization aspect now let us see how we can actually create these parameters in tableau right so if i have to create the parameter go to the tableau window so either on a particular field right let's say i want to uh, create on the dimension let's say product type i want to create a parameter so i say create parameter or i can do it on the measure probably uh, i can uh, click on profit right or profit percentage and i say create parameter or i can click on a blank blank area and i say create parameter now if you see if i click on the product type and i create i say create parameter all the values that are associated with this product type 
they are already displayed here as a list. Right? So, if you have clicked on any of the existing field and say create parameter, the initiation will be the list of values that are associated with that particular field, which are matching with that particular field's values. Those are the ones that are simply copied and displayed out here. The same way, if I click on the profit and say create parameter, you see it is displayed as a range. The name is profit parameter. The current value is some number. We will talk about it. It is a minimum most value. And it is saying the minimum is minus 6, 6, 638 and the maximum is 738. So, it is displayed as a range. Whereas in the third case, when I click here and say parameter, I get a different display. So, depending on whether I am clicking on uh, a dimension or a measure or a blank space, I get a different uh, display for the parameter. Okay. So, let me uh, talk about, uh, let me talk about uh, the creation. Let us say I take this uh, product and I say create parameter. Now, these are the things. Okay. So, this is uh, the first one talking about the name. By default, there is some parameter name called product parameter. So, we got the name of the dimension followed by the word parameter. So, this I can use even in the calculations at a later stage. Now, then the data type, here it is showing string. So, what is the data type that is allowed for that parameter? So, I can have it uh, as an integer or I can have it as a float or string or boolean or date etc. Right and similarly we have a current value. So for each of them I can I can select each one of them separately and based on that I can have a display for each one of them separately if I am calling each one as a uh, if I am defining this field as a parameter. So changing this value on the screen or in the view or in the dashboard or anything the current value will be changed accordingly. Then comes the display format, especially if it is a number, it comes out how I want to display. Probably if you look at the profit percentage and if we do the same mechanism, now you see the display format, by default it is automatic, but I can show it as a number, I can show it as a currency, right? I can show it as a percentage, some such kind of default formats is what I can show there. Right, so that is what can be shown. Then allowable values. There are three kinds of allowable values, all, list and range. So all is any values that you enter. Right, all the values that are inputted from the user. Any input that comes from the user which matches the data type. So any floating value that is entered by the user that would be allowed when we are uh, allowing this one. But when I am saying list, I have to add a list of values. So the user must select some list of values. The type should be this one, whereas display as could still be the string. So either I manually enter or I say I can add from the particular field. If I want the list of values, I can say I can add it from this particular field. But of course, this addition is a one-time operation. It means that even if your data changes at a later point in time and we are connected live, the parameter values are not going to change. They are frozen. Only one-time communication between the field and the parameter. So this parameter is a hard-coded list. It does not change dynamically with the change in the value of the data. So that is the allowed values. And then comes the range where I can talk about the minimum value and the maximum value. Right, wherein I can very well uh, give a step size as well. Increments of 1, 3 or I can even pull the values from some other existing field or parameter. Right, then in the list 
I can keep adding any number of them. Right? Probably, uh, let's look at it. So, I say, or probably let's directly use the list so that uh, we can we can see how to use it. Okay, I'll say product, product type, let's do, or probably the market. I say create parameter, right, central, east, south, west, fine. I'm saying, okay, the market parameter. Now, you could see this market parameter got created in the data window as one additional section here. There is a section called parameter that got created right now. And the name market parameter came in here. You right click on it. I can say show parameter control. Now that parameter control comes to the view out here. It is showing central, east, west, south. Now let's say just for testing out, I pull the profit percentage here. Okay. I am pulling the profit percentage. Right, or probably let me not do this profit percentage. Let me talk about sales. Right, I am getting the sales. And let's say I am even getting the profit. So it is saying this is the profit, this is the sales for central. Now I change it to east. Oh, I really uh, need... Okay, this market parameter, I can, I want to again actually uh, add it to the, uh, probably I want to add it to the color kind of stuff. Okay, now I am getting the different color. So, okay, so let's, so this is the kind of a drop down, okay, here, so the market parameter I have chosen. Now, it uh, actually helped me in terms of doing the formatting here, right, how I want it. So, I can say I can uh, have it as uh, a compact list like the one that is uh, being shown here or I can uh, get a single valued list which comes out like an option button or I can have it as a slider or I can have it as a type in. So, any of these things can come as a part of my parameter control. And uh, this is a kind of a menu which can help me to customize the appearance and behavior of my parameter control. Let's see uh, how we uh, how we uh, look at for each of the parameters what is the sales and yeah. Now, for how we handle this parameter as a part of the calculation, we'll take it as a part of the next session. But the display of the parameter, you can look at it more from this kind of a perspective. Right? So, this can be shown on any sheet on the dashboard. It can be shown on the dashboard itself. Or you can allow... So, basically, the it, we are trying to allow the user to play around with the values and based on that see the updated calculations, updated dashboards, etc. And when the values are changed, all calculations are updated, the filters are changed, re-evaluation will typically happen and the views and the displays are modified accordingly. So, when we use the parameter as a part of any of our examples, things become more and more simpler for you. 
So I'll be uh, taking a couple of examples to run you through the usage of calculations and parameters so that you get a good hold on the usage of all these things. Alright, so this is just to make you understand that parameter is a kind of uh, field that could exist in the data which can really globalize the values of something so that one change affects all the visualizations directly. Alright, so thanks a lot for listening to this uh, session. Thank you very much.